Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna vlog a day in my life. I actually have a very busy day today. Oh my god, I'm sick. I've been sick for a while, but this is my agenda. I usually only have one thing in my day, but today I have four stuff. It's 9 a.m. and my first class is at 11. UK has gotten so cold and like my radiators weren't working so over the weekend I fell sick yesterday they installed like a new radiator but the thing is I needed to be turned on to keep my room warm but it makes my throat so dry like do you guys have any solutions to this like should I get a what's it called dehumidifier I don't know what it's called <laughs> oh Oh my god, let's pour some water in my bottle. So I have my pink bottle and my Brita. I should probably make myself some of them soup as well. Before I came to UK, Anta made me like a medicine pouch. But actually the medicine that I'm about to show you is not available in Malaysia. It has everything. Because last year I felt sick so much and then she was like telling me to like buy all this medicine and I had no idea what she was saying. I mean obviously when I went to the pharmacy they helped me but she was like, Leona, I'll prepare for you your first aid. First aid? <laughs> it literally has so many medicines. This thing is so good. It's called Lamsip. My auntie actually said like, I bought you every medicine, but when you're in UK, go buy Lamsip. This is for your cold and flu. And I think it really works. Let me just go and make it. Okay guys, I made it. But I feel like it's still so hot. Let me try. It doesn't taste like medicine. Maybe because I added sugar, but like it's so easy to drink. <laughs> anyway, my new room has a smart TV. And I started this K-drama yesterday. It's called Duna. Because I saw that Susie was the main actress. And I'm actually at the second last episode already. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't like watching TV shows because I get hooked. And then I almost didn't go to my lecture yesterday because I wanted to watch it. But of course, I still went to my lecture. So let's finish watching it. I really wanted to finish it but then i have self-discipline okay i ended up sleeping at like one i usually sleep at like 12 or 11. i'm a responsible big girl now <laughs> do i really have time to watch netflix i feel like no i need to make breakfast because i don't like the food on campus and i'm gonna be so hungry hey let's go to my kitchen as you can see my kitchen does not have chairs yet so freaking annoying i'm gonna be using this casual chicken breast Actually, is it still good? It expired yesterday. <laughs> I've prepared my ingredients. I chopped up some onions and red pepper. Have my brioche bread. And then I'm gonna make my favorite sauce. This is a mug my mom got for me in Paris. So what you're gonna do is get mayo. I like QP mayo. And then you put it in the jug. And sriracha. Get a spoon and mix it. Oh, it just went on my nose. Now you have sriracha mayo. So I'm just gonna like put butter. This is the butter I use on my bun. Uh, I'm not good at cutting bun. I have my buns. I got big buns of kinder love. Funny story. Yesterday there was a fire alarm. And because I wasn't feeling sick, I actually already went to bed at like 10.45. So the first few times I heard it, it was like ding ding. Then I just ignored it, but in my head I was thinking like, why are they doing a fire drill at 10.45? Then suddenly, the alarm just went like, it went off. Like, bow, bow, bow. And my flatmate, her name is Valerie, she was like, Leona, Leona. Guys, I was literally like this, like in my comfy clothes. I was like, should I change? Because I don't want my whole building to see me in my freaking nightgown but no i just put on a hoodie and i ran down everyone was so confused we called like the fire people and then the boys were like let's go and find the source of the fire they were checking all the floors and then <laughs> they found it and guess what caused the fire alarm freaking popcorn there was nothing on fire she just burnt her popcorn and we kudos to you for pulling off the first social first we're gonna want to add our I don't know if the oil is hot yet or not. 
Bruh, it isn't. Okay, let's wait for that to sizzle. Use my pink chopsticks. Fry my onion. Is it even turned on? I only have one pan, sadly. And I add the buns. And it looks like this now. So I put sriracha mayo on my bun. Get some onions. I put one chicken, cheese, and the other chicken. Oh, but the egg. Honestly, I don't know how to tell if chicken is cooked. So I just like, I hope it's cooked. And then my pepper, my bun. Leona's chicken burger. Ta-da! My chicken burger recipe. Let's try it. Oh my god, this burger is literally falling apart. Oh my god, I don't know how to eat this. Mm. Look at all of that. My chicken is cooked perfectly. Why is it so messy? so simple and nice. This is something I will order in a restaurant. But obviously presentation wise, it's not that good. <laughs> because my burger is literally falling apart. <laughs> no! So I showered quickly and I'm running late so I could not vlog that. But today I'm just wearing black jeans and a black top because it's gotten so cold. And one thing that's different about last year and this year is like last year I used to really care about my outfits to go to uni. This year, I do not care anymore. <laughs> I just quickly made my bed because I really don't have time. I'm ready to go. Just gonna get my bin. Oh, it's so heavy. And I am super running late. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Me and my bins. Fit check. I just realized that I didn't do my morning shit or pee and I desperately need to go to the toilet oh, I don't have time I'll get to the bus stop now Oh my god guys, the line to the bus is horrible, it's so long That's where we get on the bus It goes all the way back there This is genuinely like the worst part of my day every day Look how long the bus line is Let's see if I'm gonna be late It's 10.45 and my class is at 11.15 Bus is here Thank you I made it on the bus So well, I'm on campus now and it's 11.10 and I think I'm gonna make it to my lecture on time This is like my favourite lecture, it's consumer psychology you after the lecture. <laughs> okay guys, so it is our 10 minute break and um Lulu's working on the finance seminar work kind of. I would do it but like I have no idea how to do it. I don't really know what to I do. I feel like finance is my worst subject. Okay, no, if I actually sat down and looked at it, I feel like I could do it. Not easy. Yeah, it's not it's easy. Not. There was a finance actually yesterday and I was just like so clueless. I don't think this is gonna be right at all. We're learning about emotions in consumer psychology today. And I just oh my god, my eye keeps watering. I keep laughing at the lecture because I think she's so funny. <laughs> like she's unintentionally funny. We're done with our consumer site. We are gonna go and get some food from Fresh. There's this hot dog that I like, so we're gonna go and get it. We have like an hour until our finance seven. Month. We're picking out some food. Are you gonna get the sushi? It looks really small. So our hot dog was sold out and since I ate a lot just now I'm not gonna get anything. What are you getting? Sandwich. Oh I like that one too. I love <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we're sitting at this area waiting for our finance lecture and Lulu's <laughs> laughing because no photography or filming. She just, she just went whatever. <laughs> I have a new crush guys and like me and Lulu were walking out of the SU and then he walked past here and I was like 
Oh, <gasps> Lulu, that's my crush. And she was like, which one? <laughs> I feel like I come up with a new crush every week. No, but I've had a crush on this guy for two weeks. Not solid. Yeah, not solid. two weeks. That's longer than my crushes. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, finance? Yeah, I'm trying to do it, but I don't think I'm gonna know. <laughs> I might, I don't know whether to just wait. Azim is here, so let's go find him. When Azim saw me, what did you say? I said, why are you wearing black? Normally you wear pink. <laughs> so you couldn't find me, right? No, it took you a bit longer to find me because I'm wearing black, right? Actually, not really. You're that noisy, so. <laughs> I wasn't even talking! Be noisy again. People are looking at us right <laughs> We got a vlogger here. Shut up. I have to go lecture now. Yeah. Oh, you know my followers love you. They're like, Why the fuck do they love you? so nice. Because I posted the vlog of me moving in. Ah, oh, it's because you bought me food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I'm at my finance seminar now. And I always have no idea what's going on. So you're dealing with the operating cash flow, deal with all the tax, all in hell. plus the management charge that's why we have to pay 25% on this okay. yeah. any question if you have any confusion I don't even know what question to ask <laughs> so you got 498 minus 34 Okay, so we just finished our finance seminar and I had no idea what the fuck was going on did you? I'm so confused. <laughs> I feel so hopeless. I have like a clip of you just like this. <laughs> I have one hour to my next lecture and I got waffles. Basically, Sam. I guess it's funny, it's like a little brother. We've been messaging or you just like. We've literally finished it. So we are at our last lecture of the day. Oh my god, hi girl. Yes, yeah. I also never know what's going on in this lecture because I think the lecturer is Italian and like I just don't understand what she's saying. But I like my consumer psychology lecturer because I think she's American so the English that I understand the most is American English and then British English and then... When did you go to the lecture today? Yeah, I did. You did it? I did. Do you guys remember Nandita? Probably not. Of course you do. You're in my Valentine's vlog. I didn't know you were coming to this lecture. No, usually I have it after, but then I was like, why am I gonna do nothing for one hour? So Might as well come. We are done with lectures today. Guys, guys. Nice. What are you gonna say? I'm just so excited that class is over. Girl, she woke up at like 1 p.m. <laughs> yeah, it was actually insane. I didn't set an alarm for the first time and it was so peaceful. Everyone is done with lectures. This is the parade. Lining up for the bus. I'm with Nicole. Guys, say hi to my vlog. Hi. Am I gonna be on YouTube? Of course! I get so happy when we can go on a new bus because I hate standing. Thank you. An empty bus feels so nice. I love when I can pick my seat, you know. <laughs> so I'm walking home now and I just love how my house is usually like three minutes from the bus stop. This year I live right in the city center which is so convenient. Home at last. So I went out at like 10.40 and now it's 5.40. Now that I'm home, I got changed into my pajamas and I'm gonna continue watching my show on Netflix because I have about two hours before my next activity and I want to relax because I had such a long day at uni. So let's watch Netflix. Talk to you guys later when I make dinner. So I just finished one episode. I'm gonna cook rice for my dinner and then watch another episode. Okay, let's watch another episode now. My bed is so comfy. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. A few asked me, am I living alone? I'm not. I'm living with two people and this is not- <laughs> This is Nora. Hi. She's not a uni 
she's right. doing, she's doing her placement. And she's she goes to uni in London, and I'll probably do like a vlog introducing you to them soon when I have time. I'm actually in such a good mood because today was so productive. My Tuesdays are always like so long, but honestly, I feel the vlogging spirit coming back to life, which is a really good thing. This is what I'm having for dinner. It's mala and rice. It's like fish ball, cheese tofu, and some beef. Literally sitting on my floor as I watch Netflix because I really want to finish this before my next agenda. Mm. So it's 7.20 p.m. and I just finished watching Duna and I don't like the ending because it's so realistic but yeah. I have to go soon. I also finished my dinner. It was nice. I'm gonna go and get ready now. Hey guys, so I changed and I'm ready to go to cheerleading. Wearing this pink top, some sweatpants. I'm wearing like leggings underneath, but it's too cold. And I need to put on a puffer. And then let's go. getting so cold in England, it's like 11 degrees. Walking to the bus stop now. This is the vibe right now. I'm walking that way. I'm so pretty. <laughs> I recently joined cheerleading this year because I felt like I need to like be more active in like sports and fitness because I used to be really active last time but then I stopped like exercising so I got kind of fat <laughs> I put on a bit of weight but this is my first step to being fit again I ran after the bus it's pretty empty walking to our sports building now and I genuinely think my uni has the best sports facilities compared to other unis in the UK. This whole building is our sports building and the entrance is like, it's so nice. We are like <laughs> 20 minutes early and then I saw my- I, Honestly, I knew you were going to be here. Okay. This is my friend Ines. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> you just want to like introduce yourself and where you're from? Uh, I didn't know this. Okay. Um, An interview. Oh. Uh, Okay. <laughs> I'm Japanese and French, and uh, that's all about me. That's no, what what degree do you do? Oh, uh, management. Same yeah. as Fiona. We're in the same course, and this is okay. Uh, <laughs> bro, I don't know how to be on camera. Introduce Hi. yourself. I'm Chloe, and I'm doing management with the marketing. Are you Malaysian? I asked you this so many yeah. times. I found out. I followed your Instagram, and I saw your bio, and I was like, oh my really? gosh, I don't know. Oh. This is where we train. I'm so sick. We're done with cheer. Now we're gonna go home. And I'm so tired. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, is this a vlog? Yeah, I'm Amina. I just finished um, cheer training and Leona is a really good cheerleader. I what do you mean? She's the best. She's always in the front and then she's giving me hips and movement. She's really Oh good. my god. You're making me shy. No, I'm just saying Leona's a really good cheerleader. I'm so tired. I feel like this is a sign I should like work Leona. out on the daily. Yeah? yeah me and Amina were watching you on the bus. Oh yeah, we were like, what? Wow, no, because we were looking at the cheerleading video and yeah. Leona's in the front of the video. So then we were like, bro, Leona's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like hitting all so those, <laughs> hitting the moves, hitting so all the moves, hitting the hips, hitting the everything. It's raining so heavily and I don't have an umbrella. I have my jacket over my head and I'm so cold. My 20 pound umbrella broke and I refuse to buy a new one. <laughs> Just look how freaking rainy it is. I look like a mess. And I really, really, really need to pee. I'm waiting for the lift. When I tell you I look insane, I'm so serious. Oh, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> Productive day today, yeah! 
So I'm home in my room now. I just peed. But I'm honestly so naked. I've had such a long day. Honestly, I really, really, really enjoy uni life. It's been a month since uni started and I feel so proud that I haven't missed a single lecture. Everyone, please round of applause. I mean like that's bare minimum but last year I literally did not go to any of my lectures so I'm proud of myself. Last year all I did was go out and party like almost every day but this year I got involved in more things. I joined more societies, I even joined cheerleading which is something that I have to commit to weekly. Heck, did I tell you guys that I got a part-time job? Like my first ever part-time job. I'm a waitress. I've always really wanted to know what it's like to be a waitress and I feel like it's a good like skill and experience to pick up which is why I decided to be a waitress. My mom called me and she was literally like why and I'm like because like for fun not really for the money though the pay is pretty good it's like 11 pounds per hour and that's without service charge so that's service charge and it's like 13 pounds or 12.50 which is pretty good it's nothing compared to like my influencer work i'm purely doing this for experience and the fun of it it's it's been very interesting because i work on saturday and sunday at 8 and sometimes 7 a.m i don't even party that much until late anymore i mean i still go out sometimes but then because i committed to something at 8 a.m i'm not gonna be out until like 7 a.m you get me i'm like really into the uni life now i really enjoy it thank you so much for watching this video if you stayed until the end i'm gonna shower and get ready for bed tomorrow i actually have a pretty chill day i just have like one lecture and i'm gonna meet my friend because it's his birthday let me know what videos you want to see in the future Thank you for watching guys, love you. I'm back baby, boom, bye.